What's going on, Trash Troy back here with episode number 34 of 66 Single Spectacular. Uh, back to doing the uh, regular fan battles. I know the last two battles, or yeah, the last two, kind of like little like throwback. Like I said, like I did a uh, battle versus my brother a long time ago and another friend, which was a long time ago. But I uh, hit this guy up on Twitter, uh, Dominic. Well, actually, he hit me up, and uh, I was requesting a uh, you battle. He said, yo, man, I'm down. And I'm like, cool, I am too. So... We did our battle, and uh, here it is. Uh, so I saw he did have the uh, Gujra. He had the Alakazam. I saw some threats over there. I'm like, oh, man, uh, who knows how this is going to turn out. But it actually ended up turning out to be uh, a pretty decent battle. Um, he just, uh, I think, made one little misclick, which is about it. But I did see a lot of the threats, and he got some good switches on me. So I opened up with my Jay-Z Infernape. Always loved the name. Always loved the guy. Uh, he has this shiny Mega Ampharos. I was like, wow, that's not bad at all. Uh, you know, uh, always a good Pokemon to see. So I didn't really kind of want to deal with this guy. He could pretty much one-shot me because Infernape has no defenses. And that thing probably max special attack, uh, maybe speed, something like that. So U-turn, got the heck out of there. Bring in the Rhyperior just in case he goes for like a Thunderbolt, anything like that. I got Rhyperior. Instead he goes for a Cotton Guard, starts setting up, and I'm like, oh man. Um, for Listen 5 better start watching, you know, he knows the Ampharos gets the Cotton Guard, so we gotta start paying attention. But instead, fearing that Earthquake, he switches out, brings in his Sock. Which is uh, an interesting Pokemon I haven't really ever dealt with. But, uh, just in case, went for the Earthquake, and, um, get this guy pretty low. I know the close combat is coming, this guy's probably banded, so I get out of there. I bring in my Ranunculus, uh, my shiny... Spe or especially defensive uh, Ridiculous, the one I really love using. He's going to resist that close combat I knew was coming, but still, that was almost half health from a close combat, which was pretty um, intense, but uh, he probably knew that I was going to go for the Psychic. I should have gone for a um, Calm Mind, because I knew he was switching out, but I went for the Psychic anyway, got some free damage, nothing wrong with that. Uh, even though the breaks, the mold's not going to do much. But here's the Psychic. Uh, like I said, still gets him about below half, but I know nothing's really going to come of it. So um, I know here, okay, he's a special attacker, I'm a special tank. But then I see a signal move, I'm like, okay, this changes everything. He got him pretty darn low. I go for the Calm Mind, should have tried to go for the Recover, but then we would have been in a weird spot. And uh, seeing all the signal beams, not really working out. I was, I could have hoped that... Uh, kind of stalled out, maybe hoping we won't miss because the, the accuracy is pretty low. But uh, I wasn't going to bet on that, so I just bring him back, seeing the, the other signal beam coming, bring back out Infernape, taking the signal beam because it, it, he resisted by uh, 0.25 actually. Not not half, It's he resists bug types a lot. So there's not very effective, but I do get confused. And being confused... Um, that also scared me. It's like, okay, it's the all or nothing close combat. If I hit myself, then I'm dead. Didn't want to waste him there. So bring out Gliscor. Um, he resists pretty much a Thunder and the Signal Beam, which is fine. So now I can kind of set up and, um, you know, work with this guy. He sees the uh, Earthquake coming. He doesn't switch out, but I still go for the Toxic. Um, just to make sure uh, I get this guy. Or just in case he did switch uh, anything, then they're poisoned when they come in. So, um, next turn, uh, he switches out, uh, so he's poisoned, don't have to worry about Ampharos for a little bit, brings out the Gudra, a uh, Pokemon that is, you know, not so much defensive, but specially defensive, and, uh, we can go through a stall battle, but, uh, you yeah, know, I got my, uh, Gliscor doing his pr a pretty good job with the Substitute, uh, Substitute just, you know, chilling there like a boss, so... Uh, go for the knockoff. Just see what item he's had. He had the assault vest. Good thing I took that thing off. Didn't want to worry about that at all. Uh, the flamethrower coming in. Takes some damage. Fades it. So uh, we can see this guy has an okay amount of damage. So we're fine with that. Uh, here I, s I think I still keep him in. Just to poison him. Just to make sure. Then I can stall him out later. And um, just get going with that. But then I see he's got the ice beam. Like oh crap. Did not really see that coming. I thought he had... Anything else would have hurt, but I guess he had the Ice Beam, and then the more I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, any idiot wouldn't really not bring Ice Beam. So, props to my opponent for, um, you know, being on top of his stuff while I really wasn't this time. So, back out comes Infernape. This becomes a trend. I 
go for the close combat, get the kill. He got low enough through all the poison, so uh, that all, you know, kind of worked itself out there, which is really good. Get rid of uh, something I kind of didn't have anything else for. I mean, uh, I have, I think I had a Porygon Z with Ice Beam, but he's special defensive, like I said. So, here comes the Alakazam. I know Alakazam outspeeds because my Infernape's more attack than speed. Uh, so we see that. Goes for a Shadow Ball. I don't know if he predicted that switch, but I think Shadow Ball might have not been a good move for uh, Infernape. But he must have predicted the switch uh, into Ranunculus and, you know, super effective to kill. Because if you probably did Psychic, I might have lived. Just might have. So, goes for the other Shadow Ball. Now I'm starting to think this thing's probably Specs. Or scarfed um, uh, choice item. I still hang out with my focus sash. The icicle spear gonna land all four hits because we actually get two crits. So it's actually three. So my apologies there. So we get three uh, chunks of ice falling on his head, uh, doing a lot of damage. So uh, Cloyster doing his thing. Didn't really need to sh set the shell smash. Probably would have been useless. So I just wanted to make sure I killed it anyway. Uh, just in case I go without a bang. Uh, I go for the Ice School Spear again. I somehow outspeeded Porygon Z because my Cloyster is kind of slow. Um, even all five hits almost kills, uh, which would have been fine by me if I actually killed. Anyway, uh, get the Porygon Z pretty low. He finally takes out Cloyster. His Porygon Z could have been Sashed or maybe Specs. Didn't really know that until the end. Back out comes Infernape again. Like I said, man, I just you know, Infernape just you know, comes in on the good switches. So. Brings out Noivern, uh, and I go for a U-turn just because, like, okay, one, I could have killed the Porygon Z with a U-turn, and I can, you know, be in a good position. Probably could have gone for a close combat just to be safe, but I would have thought he would have let uh, Porygon Z die. Um, so I got Noivern looking at me, and, you know, this thing could be fast by Porygon Z, and Porygon Z ready to sweep the rest of the battle. So we got to go figure what's going to happen Um speed wise because Noivern could take out Porygon Z. Porygon Z doesn't really um, have any defenses uh, locked up. So he switched out anyway. Brings in the sock for him to die. Um, luckily I got the uh, special attack download which was really good. Uh, here comes the Porygon Z again. I know I'll speak because my Porygon Z is actually choice scarfed. I uh, don't know if I mentioned that before but I knew that all along. But still like I said the Noivern could be faster anyway if it has a choice scarf. Which would be weird if it did. So luckily, um, Ice Beam just going to melt through this guy's whole team, uh, if that makes sense. I don't know if Ice melting anyone makes sense. If he had a fire attack, probably would. Uh, any try attack actually would be uh, doing a lot of damage, because that would be a, a really good stab move. But here's, a, you know, just going through the whole team. Lastly, Annoyvern, so I was indeed faster, didn't have to worry, um, didn't have to waste any effort. Uh, towards the end here. The Porygon sweep was real. I want to thank my opponent, Dominic. Uh, hit me up on Twitter when I hit up everybody. Uh, he said won the battle. I went for kind of a low UU, maybe a little NU tier battle, so he stepped up to the plate. I want to thank him for the battle. Uh, if you guys want to check out his Twitter, I got a link for that. Uh, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle. Thanks for watching. Uh, gonna do more of these uh, a lot more often. Just bat I'm gonna be battling you guys a lot, so any of the fans watching, you guys be ready. Um, leave uh, any challenge for a battle on my Twitter, and I will get back to you guys, and we'll uh, work something out. But mainly 6v6 singles. So, you guys, again, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see all you guys next time.